Hey folks, Asia the CEO here, and in this video, we're gonna be going through the installation of the OBS Complete Bundle, the Mac version. So let's go. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if y'all like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron at patreon.com. Link is in the description. So this is gonna just be a rehashing of the OBS Complete Bundle, but since we finished off the Ryzen Tosh, we're gonna be doing this from the that perspective um, also we have updated the obs complete bundle so that it has um, makes it a little bit easier for our fellow mac users on this because um, going between the windows and the mac version the text object is different the video input is different the sound input is different so anyway let's go ahead and cut over to the computer all right we're all logged in and I have already downloaded the updated version of the OBS Complete Bundle. If you buy it from my website, that update is there. So if we expand this out, now we have two folders inside of here. We got one that's Mac and we have one that's Windows. We go here in Mac. It simplified a few things, but it's still the exact same stuff that you're looking for. All right, so what we're gonna do is let me go ahead and open up OBS here, which I thought I had on my um, screen here. I mean, on my bar down here. All right, so now that we have everything extracted to our downloads, let's go here to scenes. Well, let's go back here just to make sure. And we're gonna extract this. We're gonna go into OBS Complete Bundle, Mac, Inside of here, you need to come in here, just like the instructions say, you need to come inside of here and right click on media ministry underscore JSON. We need to rename that and take out that last underscore and change that with a period. All right, that's all we need to do here. So let's come back over here to OBS, scene collection, import, we're gonna navigate out to our downloads. OBS Complete Bundle, Mac, OBS Complete Bundle. And then now we see our JSON file. Go ahead and select that, open, import. Give it a second. Now let's go back to scene collection and let's go to media ministry, which has just been imported. Boom, there we go. So our names and everything have been imported, but we need to point everything to our new path. Um, Cause again, I don't know where he have set this. So let's go backwards on this so we can see everything. I'm gonna double click on SS010. And we're gonna go here and navigate to our um, stuff here. So this is starting. And we're just selecting our paths. And we just need to update this on each one. And just remember that there are 10 images here, but you can pick whichever one that you want. And to do that, all you have to do is make sure it, that's the one that has the eye on it, all the other ones click the eye to hide that so that you won't show all of them. Now, just like with in Windows, this is kind of difficult to do because I, you know, the path is gonna be different for each person. So you just gotta make sure you do this. Windows will be the exact same way. If you didn't extract this out, to your C drive and the downloads folder, um, you would have to do this exact same thing. And it's not really difficult. You just gotta make sure you point it to each location and actually click on the right image. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing for our intro video. All the settings 
just need to stay the same. You don't need to change anything. We're not looping. We're not restarting. All that is fine. All right, there's number one, church name. You just go ahead and double click on that. You can change your name here. And once you change the name here, it will carry through to all the other scenes. Now in streaming, this is gonna be a little bit different. Um, I actually have a capture card connected to this. So you have to come in here and change this. Now you gotta come in here and set your capture device individually. I have this, so I'm gonna set mine to this. All right, and let's resize this. Oh, I'm gonna take off the lot first. Transform, fit the screen. There we go, and then we're locked right back. All right, now we're gonna go to offering. Same way, we need to undo our capture device. Set that to fit the screen first. All right, and we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna point to our online giving images. And thankfully, it's not as many as are starting soon. And just like with your church name, you need to come in here and update your Cash App name if you want. And don't feel compelled to be locked into this. You can always add your own other graphics, logos, anything that you want right here. Um, again, to change your Cash App name, just double click on it and then boom, you can change your name there. All right, be right back is the exact same thing. We're gonna point to our music, keep the settings exactly the same. And actually, I clicked on the wrong one. There's music. Boom. Be right back. Image. Then our notice. Which already has the chroma key on it to remove it. Then we're going to go to our ending. And then all we got to do is just point this to our ending image. And there we go. That's everything set up. We have our camera here. Now, this is one thing that's different here because of how all this works. You can come in here, normally in Windows, you can come here to settings, go to audio, and do your device this way to capture audio. So you can do it this way if you want, but by doing this way, it's always gonna capture audio no matter what. And we don't necessarily want to do it that way because of how we have our settings and our scenes. So we want to come in here, add an audio input. Then we're going to select our capture device or our audio, whichever way. And see, now this is how our audio is coming in. We want to do the exact same thing on the online giving because we want the audio to still come through. All right, so audio is gonna be here. So if you flash this scene and people are still talking, they can still hear what's going on. Um, you don't want that for starting soon. That's why we don't have the audio there. We just have the video that will be playing. That's what that audio is from. Audio is coming in when you're streaming, obviously, online giving. Be right back, we don't want it because it's meant to block all video and audio for copyright reasons. And then for ending, we don't want audio because it's ending. That is it. That is the complete install on a Mac. So I hope that helps you. So that was pretty much it. Link is in the description. So if you want to get the OBS complete bundle, that, up, that download has been updated to have both of those paths. Um, and if you have any questions, go ahead and just email me or leave a comment in this video. And I hope that helps. So if you like this type of content, I appreciate it. Like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. And I wanna thank the patrons who made this video possible. Their names are on the screen right now. And if you like what we're doing, you can become a patron too for as little as $1 a month using the link below. And that is patreon.com slash AJDCEO. 
Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ. We will see you on the next video later.